Hello, welcome to Strong Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 141.3. Set a guard upon my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Um, yeah, just normal watch what you say kind of stuff. You know, I'm very much about that. So, all right, this video is probably going to be long enough. So I'm going to get into it. The surgery did come. And it's this video is just I recorded what I could. I was excited. I was having fun. There's little clips of what I was doing. Um, I will tell you the first thing that I needed to do was definitely the thread thing, and I'll get into that afterwards. And it's not as hard to thread as you think it is. So, all right, here it is. Starting with the unboxing, not the best video, but hey, and you might want to fast forward because there's no th sound. You can just kind of look and see what all comes out of the box. And then after that, there's a bunch of playing and, and I videotaped and showed what I was doing. So.
the little sample that it came with. But then I did my own and I am having so much fun with this. I did try some thinner stuff, but it didn't do. So I've got to figure out the settings. Um, the sample that it came with is like a, I don't know, like a, almost a vinyl type or an outdoor cloth. This one that I did is corduroy. So it's set for thicker stuff, which is perfect for right now. This is just a little, <laughs> the first fabric I found and wanted to do. So, um, now that I've had a chance, maybe it'll do it. I don't know. We'll just see. Put it down there. Oh, the stitches are a little bit more bunchy, but it did it. So, I actually just did that. And it's not too bad. This is a piece of scrap that was in my pocket. So, yeah. What a mess I've made, but had so much fun doing it. And once I trim those off, they'll actually look halfway decent, except for this black one. But this little corduroy one will look super cute. Um, so now all I have to do is get my white threads in place, because these are just little um, samples, as you can see here. They're just little samples and uh, yeah that's a mirror so that you guys can see but yeah I'm gonna have so much and it's even got a little catcher all my little fabrics caught in there oh I'm super excited so yes it works now I get to take and this all is my reading for the next day. I already figured this out. This is the, um, the stand, and I already have it on here, and I probably will leave it there. So this part, I've got, it's fine. Um, this, however, <laughs> this is the warranty registration that I need to do. Um, morning, read this before doing. It's 110, not 220. Um, please visit the URLs for features and details. So there's manuals and videos online. Oh, 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 I will be watching these. And then, of course, we have Compact Overlock Operation Manual. And I don't know, this is probably a different, oh, Spanish. So, I'll be reading this one, because I don't do Spanish. All right, I'm going to get out here. Oh, this isn't Spanish. This one's English and Spanish, and this one is French and Netherlands. So, yeah, I won't be doing those, and I'll only read half of this. All right, I'm off of here. Okay. So I'm, my camera work is not going to be the greatest on this, but first lesson learned here is I read reviews and they said two things. First off, that a serger is hard to thread. And second off, that not to trust. It comes preloaded with these. And you saw me, I, I did this, I don't know where my other swatch is, but I did this little swatch right here. And uh, then <laughs> I just wanted to go with it, you know, I just wanted to. So, as I said, the threads broke. They warned you not to use those threads. They're the cheapest threads forever, okay? They're, they're horrible. Um, they said keep it for hand sewing or um, your uh, sewing machine, that it would be okay for sewing machine, but it wasn't great thread. Okay, when you spend this kind of money on, you know, almost, it was right at $400 for this, you would think they could at least spend a couple of dollars to put good thread on there. Just say, but they don't. The second thing was, is that a serger is hard to uh, thread. Let me tell you about this one. So I've never threaded a serger and this dude, oh my word. 
super simple. Um, the hardest thing, and you're going to laugh at me because there's a picture of it right there. It's right in front of my face, but I couldn't find it. Okay. So I put my little nets on. Um, they said that your thread would pull, so use the nets, put the cone things on, run it up. Okay, I did all of that. And then they said that you could just snip them off, tie them to, and go. And that didn't work. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now that a knot will not go through your needles, and it won't go through all these little things right here. Um, it, it catches on them, okay? So you're sitting here, and you're going, hmm, this is not right. Oops, and I actually have one of these on. Oh. Um, so, yeah, these diagrams, just follow them. The hardest thing was step number nine, pull the thing back. And I looked and I looked because I had my thread right here, and it has to go for the bottom looper, and it goes over here. Okay, I don't know. Hoping that you guys can see. It's my camera's not very good for this. But it goes from here over into this looper, and you have to do, okay. Well, number nine says to slide this back, and this will come out. I looked, and I looked, and I looked over here for number nine. I looked for anything that would move. Well, guess what? It's right here. <laughs> that was the hardest step was finding this little thing right here. And, yes, it was in front of my face. So I did all the steps, all the things. And yeah, so with that said, after I got it all put together, I ran a, a loop and I was like, oh, I, I did another little um, swatch here. And then I just wanted to see if I could do it. So I had this little bag pinned up. Now I don't have the top folded down. It's going to be a drawstring bag and I just fold this in and then fold this down. Okay, I'm trying to do this one hand because I have the camera in the other hand. But I thought I can just go and do the two edges, okay? Look at this. Yeah. And it's not wavy. Um, I actually <laughs> uh, didn't. It, it's amazing. I am in love with the searcher, and I haven't even done anything. Now, I haven't woven in the ends or anything. I have to read. I decided I was going to stop. I don't know why I'm working so hard to turn this wrong side out, but I did both sides. Okay. And I didn't get this edge right here. Perfect. See how I pulled it off. It's because this folds over. And so I'm going to fold this over to it. And then I'll redo this little corner right here. If you can see. That. So yeah, lesson learned. I've had it just a few minutes I already. sewed a bag and I just have to put the little edge and drawstring area in it. And that I can do on my sewing machine with a top stitch. But this thing, guys, I am in love with this. Um, not much harder than a sewing machine. The hardest thing, I think, for me is the foot pedal. This sucker goes so fast. I have to actually watch how much I push on the pedal. And my other pedal is taller. So when I push, it... Um, I have it down here. When I push, my my other sewing machine is over here on this stand, okay? But when I push on this, very little gas. That's what I'm saying. Just very little gas to start it. But it's, if I turn it on, there's an awesome light. Um, everything is set the same way it was when they did it. So, I mean, I haven't played with any of that yet. There's two extra feet. There's all kinds of extra needles and, you know, all this stuff here. I haven't even begun to play with this. And I've already made essentially nine-tenths of a bag. So, yeah, super happy with this baby. We'll see where I go with this. Um, yeah, we'll see. So because I knew the surgery was coming, I went to Hobby Lobby, and I knew what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't get the lining yet. I want to go through my stash and see what I've got, but I want to show you what I've always wanted to work with. And I think the serger will do it amazingly. So first I got this and this feels, I wish you could actually, it looks 
and feels like uh, leather. Um, it looks like tool leather. It is a vinyl and it's got the wool on the inside. And then I'm going to make a purse out of this and line it with black satin. Yeah. So I have an idea for that one. Then I got this one. I had seen this online and it again is vinyl. Uh, and it looks like cowhide and it's got the wool. Now this one, it, you can tell that it's vinyl. Okay. Um, it is nice. It's cute. And I think it will make some great uh, purses, wallets, clutches, that kind of stuff. And I got one yard, okay? So I can play with it. Now, I gave a little bit more for this one. I got all these on sale. And I went today because I keep looking because I'm used to looking at the camera there. And I've had to set it here because of the light. And I'm filming at night. And I'm playing. And I'm excited. And oh, my gosh. So, anyway. Um, when I got there, uh, I found this, this, oh my gosh, it is not wool lined. It feels like cloth. And this is like that, I want to say velour. This is heavy stat and it looks like cattle or yeah, it's cowhide. Um, it's got fuzzies on it. That's the only thing is it fuzzies. And so I'm hoping that the serger will take care of that. But this is amazing print. Oh, ah, look at that. Yes. One yard. And, um, I wish I could find my ticket. Uh, I think I gave like seven bucks for this yard. Okay, and it's the tool leather. It's a little bit thicker. Okay. Then there was this one, and I think I gave 11 for the yard. And this one I gave a little bit more. Um, this was $21.99 originally. This feels like cowhide, you guys. Um, but I got 40% off, too. So I didn't give maybe 20 bucks for the 19 But this is amazing. And this is going to make some really cute purses. And some really cute bags. Um, some really cute wallets. Uh, yeah, I am super stoked about this. Um, I was in there and getting this stuff. And this lady was like, so are you doing bar stools or chairs or whatever? And I looked at her and I said, nope, I'm going to make some bags. And she looked at me and she goes, you can't use that for bags. And I looked at her and I said, I've used clear vinyl for bags before. This is going to be a walk in the park. And she goes... Do you have a special foot or anything for it? No, I don't. Um, it's a learned uh, skill and it's not hard, but it's not easy. One side will slide better than the other. You definitely want to put the slick side down and you want your foot up against this. So I'm going to be surging. So that's not really going to make a big difference. But I am going to cut some of these bags out. I want to do like a little wallet, a little clutch. Um, same thing with this. This, I think, will look good as a bigger Western actual purse. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm going to get some ribbing or uh, not ribbing, uh, some strap for this one. Some dark brown strap and go from there because I don't think... I don't think that the vinyl itself will make a good strap. I, I don't even want to attempt that at this point. So, um, yeah, I got those and I will be playing with those while I was at Hobby Lobby. No reason at all. I went over, looked, and these just happened to be by the thread, but I found some cute zippers and I'll be making some zipper pouches. This one's sparkly. It's sparkly silver and I don't know why it just attracted me. I'm getting way too into this, guys. I haven't made bags in a long time. but And this one is a, a rainbow pinky type glittery zipper. So I'm going to make zipper bags. Those will probably not be those three canvases that you just saw. And then I found this one that's black with a rainbow. <laughs> and then I picked up just a regular white um, to play with. Uh, 
this one with, but I think it's going to be too light. Um, I couldn't find like an off white, so we'll we'll see how this one goes. But this was going to be like a zipper purse, you know, it needs a zipper in it. So um, yeah, I got all those things. I know you guys are probably going to get tired of hearing about my adventures with the serger, but for a while, that's probably all you're going to hear <laughs> for now. Um, I am going to take and it came, the serger came with a book and it also, um, has some videos and I'm going to go and that's where I'm headed now is to go read on it. And I think I left it in the kitchen, go read some of those things and maybe watch a few videos and yeah, until I get anything cut out, I don't have anything to sew, but I don't want to cut. I want to sew. So <sighs> super exciting for me. And I haven't been this excited since I got my first sewing machine. So yeah, I, I'm in heaven, you guys. I, I can't say enough about this brother. Everything that I read on the reviews is absolutely correct. Except for one lady who said it's super hard to, to thread. No, it's not. If you can follow the little line and they're all color coded, the first one is the blue, green, pink, and yellow. And I think it's supposed to be red. Okay. Cause blue, green, yellow, red is the color of threads that you got too. But I'm calling mine pink. Okay. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to give these threads to my daughter when I give her her sewing machine so that she'll have some colored threads as well. Um, so I am off to go watch some videos and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Okay. So as you can see, I was playing. It was fun. That was Friday night. Um, I did find my ticket okay, for Hobby Lobby and the expensive one that I talked about that is the faux cap. It's more like fabric, but it's that velour. So it was originally $19.99 a yard, which is expensive, but I got it for $11.99 a yard. And the other one that was cow print that was a little bit thicker was $17.99 a yard. And I got it for $10.97. And then the one that looks like tooled leather, this one right here, oh, you can see that. that one was $11.99 originally and I got it for $7.19 a yard. So with the thread and everything, uh, I got, what else was it? There was, oh, I got some really cute zippers that I've got to show you too. Um, I don't remember if I showed you Friday night or not. They were in the bag. I just thought they were cute. Um, my plan was to use these to um, make zipper bags this weekend. <laughs> but I got tied up with other things. Okay, so I also picked up a sparkly one, a rainbow one. The this is rainbow. Okay. Then I got this one, which is red and sparkly, and and then I got the one I went in for a regular white, <laughs> just a regular old white zipper. Okay, so. Um, I am charting how much I have in this because I want to see if I can actually make a little money selling bags. Um, bags, wallets, totes, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I want to see if I can do that. So anyway, um, Saturday. I got up and I wanted, I just wanted to make something. And so I went back to what I know. Okay. I made this cute little drawstring bag here. It's got the, it's actually got a double pocket. It's got a smaller one and then a bigger one. And it's just a drawstring bag. I don't have any um, drawstrings put in it yet, but yeah, this one's done. 
And then I did this one. Again, no drawstring yet, but there will be. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I think I am going to do instead of ribbon is I'm going to go find some good poly cable in or poly rope in different um, colors, basically white or black, and then maybe a few other pop colors like I, the red. I use a lot of red, um, maybe a blue. But that's what I'm going to start using for my drawstrings. If you remember, I used to use ribbon, and it slides too much. So I'm going to use the um, ropes. So that way, and I'm going to knot on each side instead of sewing and trying to hide it. I can actually knot it and use it that way. <coughs> so that being said, I did push the limits of this machine. And I want to say that I am impressed. I like it. Um, I needed to make a friend a cover. Or, and there's strings on this because this friend doesn't care. I haven't clipped any of them or anything. Anyway, needed a cover to go over some electronics that is exposed to the elements, but not really. Um, just dust. It, it's kind of a dust cover. Um, and he lost the cover that goes to his fish tracker thing on his boat. And he's a friend of roommates. And so I came up with this and I wanted something thick. Now, first off, this is for a man. I don't have any manly, uh, material. I looked. So I found an old pair of jeans <laughs> and I put batting on it. Okay. Or in it. I think it's pouring down rain. Holy cow. It is. It just opened up. And, and then I lined it with some cotton. Once I got that done, uh, I put some elastic in it as the drawstring so that it can be adjusted and I put a little slider on it. Okay. All made with the serger. Now I will tell you, I had a little bit of an issue right there. I had to slow down. I didn't break any needles. I didn't, you know, I did break thread. Um, and I think it's because I was pushing it just a little bit, but it went right through. I, I mean, it, you had to slow down just as anything else that was thick, you know? Um, but other than that, it seemed pretty good. So yeah, but this is done, made. Like I said, it's just a drawstring and it's going to go down over it and then bunch around the bottom and that's going to protect it as he's driving down the highway and stuff. So yeah, there's this. Uh, then I know you've heard me talk about a little portable tea, uh, center, I guess is what I'm calling it. I made the drawstring bag for it. I, again, no strings in it cause I haven't figured that part out. And that one I might use a little ribbon. Then I've got my back for it. And I've got my front for it. All right. Now there are, there is one thing that I'm waiting on. Now keep in mind, this white doesn't go with this. It's just kind of a, let's see what I can do and see how to put it together. Um, but it will have a cam snap here and a cam snap here. And then I'll have a cam snap to close this. There's a pocket here. And then there's a cam snap pocket oops, right there. And then you've got one, two, three T pockets. And then you've got long ones so that you could put taller, you know, like your uh, sweet and low and that kind of stuff in there. I have not figured out the handle jet. Um, 
I think I'm just going to put straps on it. Is what it is. Anyway, so when it all gets done, said and done, it will look like this with handles on it and no raw edges. The cup will snap in this one third right there. And then basically for storage, you fold it in thirds like so. But when you're carrying it, that one third that's stiffer will be the bottom. And I thought about maybe putting some stabilize on this so that it doesn't, so that it has a little bit more uh, poof to it, I guess. But I want to put the camp snaps on before. And then, of course, you'll have your bag sitting in here with your cup cam snapped into it. And then the handles will just go up and up like so. So you really would just be carrying your teacup like so and everything else. And then when you open it up, it'll have everything in there. Um, just an idea I'm working on. Not sure that's, you know, I have a couple of people that I think would enjoy it, but we'll see. So the other thing that I did um, Saturday and Sunday, well, Saturday I laid out some patterns. I am tracking how much each bag is costing to make. I am tracking everything that I put into this, everything, you know, um, all of that. And... I am being very, I don't know what to say, very uh, tedious about it. I, I just, if I'm not going to make any money and I'm only going to make them for fun, then that's one thing. But I really want to go back to selling bags. Uh, people say, talk about side hustle. That's what I want to do is I want to be sewing when I retire and have me a little extra income from it. So, and of course my crochet is the same way. So anyway, I did take the time and I cut out, uh, first I drew out, I wanted to see how far a yard would go. I'm tracking every little scrap I told you. Um, so I marked out, um, the first bags. Oh wait, I did these first. Okay, so oops. Now everything's sliding. So I marked out these, okay? Now, what I found out was that it's a circle. I didn't need two circles is what I found out, okay? Because I don't want that. I want this kind of lining. And I was like, hmm. Now, I then took it, fold it in half, I put black lining on the back, okay? This is the only one that I worked on. I am here, and I'll tell you why I stopped. Uh, I got every project to a point where uh, I need that, and then couldn't. So, I'm going to brown top stitch along here, and that's going to hide that. It's going to be tucked in. And then these two go like so. And then it will have a seam here and a seam up so that you can have uh, a little pocket here on the inside. I don't think you'd want to use these outside ones, um, but yeah, we'll see. I just really don't think you'd want to use the outside ones, but the inside pockets, yeah, that would be cute to put your cell phone in and of course it'd be tucked in there anything you need to divide off so but again this has to be top stitched onto this um and then i'm going to make the handles so the handles and i haven't pressed this one so i can't show you but basically it's going to be two top stitches and i'm going to make it like this like the center and then fold over so and then those handles We'll go up across the top of here, like so. Uh, yeah, 
I've got a top. I have nothing else to do with this besides top stitch it. Once I top stitch it, then I'm good. So I can't top stitch. Uh, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Okay, sorry. Woo, knock my glasses off. All right, so then I cut out this bigger round one. And again, I haven't put this together because I need something else to do it. And I'll get to that in a minute. This is the bottom and it's going to actually look like a mini rope bag. <clears throat> and then I have the handle, which will be a shoulder strap. So this will go around it. It doesn't come all the way across the top. The only thing that I haven't figured out is how much I want to, how I want to close it. I was thinking that I might fold those down and then cam snap it so that it snaps at the top and make it like um, don't know though. I'm still working on the closure on that one and we'll see. But again, the strap, now this one I have pressed and when I say press guys, I do not mean touch your iron to the vinyl. Okay. I, I really don't. Uh, but it will look like this and it will have two steam, top stitch seams. One, two. So, yeah. Then, what else did I do? <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, so I got those two bags all lined out. I got these two cut out. I also have them done on the faux leather, as I'm calling it. But I ordered some stuff, and it won't be here till Tuesday. That's why everything had to stop. First off, I loaned out my cam snaps. Um, I will get those back. Just not what I'm worried about right now. But I went online. And like I said, the Hobby Lobby thread was, it, it's fuzzy. It's everything they say you don't want a serger thread. So I went online and, and I looked for, uh, I guess a wholesaler. I don't know. I, I wanted bulk. I didn't want just two or three, um, things and I wanted to be able to do it. So, Ooh, and it's out on delivery already. Okay. So sorry. It's like, Whoa, that's what it says anyway. I found this website. Uh, well, whack. I don't know. And I placed an order and you guys, I, I'm telling you, I hadn't really looked for serger stuff, but this site has everything that I need. Uh, let's see here. I got, oh, I got, looks like I got a catalog for nothing. Um, <laughs> all right. So I got two yards of Profuse flexible, uh, fusible woven interfacing. And I got it for seven ninety or seven eighty eight a yard. Can't get it at Hobby Lobby that cheap. I got, one 10 pack of D rings I got in two different sizes. I got swivel hooks so that you can put them on the strap and hook it too. So I don't know if I'm going to do a D ring and hook it, or I can actually just sew the straps on if I wanted to. I got three rolls. I got brown, black, and white. I got the sliders and three yards of just zipper so I can cut the zippers any length I want. Um, uh, then I got, and they call it continuous roll, but I only got three yards. So it's not really on a roll. It's full. anyway. Um, then I got, uh, the adjusters for the straps. I got two different sizes of those. Uh, then I picked up sewing clips. 
sewing clips. When using vinyl, you don't use your, you don't use pins at all. So one of the things is, is that I need the sewing clips to hold this in place to top stitch it. Okay. Um, because it's curved, I have to go slow and I have to do it. And so I got sewing clips. Um, they're not brand name. Brand name, of course, would be Wonder Clips. So I'm just calling them sewing clips. Uh, I got, and I don't know what y'all give for Wonder Clips, but I got a hundred for six dollars and ninety-five cents or eighty-five cents. Yeah. And with this order, I got free shipping too. The wonder, the um, sewing clips are also needed for this. Okay. I got the smalls. There are several sizes, but I got a hundred of the small ones to do the small intricate work that I need. Okay. Then I got Taylor's chalk because mine is almost out and it came with a holder. So yeah. And then this, I don't know, it popped up and I was like, oh, I need that. Uh, I got drawstring needles, 23 inch. And what it is, is I can put my uh, string through, pull it. It's one of the really long ones. So, and it's plastic. It's not a needle needle, but you know what I mean. Then I got maxi lock surge spun polyester thread. I got six whites. I got a red, a purple, a pink, brown, black. I got six of white and black. I got six of them. Then I got a yellow, a green, and a blue. And I got free shipping and handling on all this. So yeah, I gave $20 for those four spools. Okay. I gave, and, and if you figure it out, um, I gave more for that thread than I probably should have, but it's all that Hobby Lobby had. It was four ninety nine dollars a spool. Uh, these that I got, I got, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I got 19 spools of thread. Okay. And there's a reason that I'm calculating this. Okay. Cause I want to show you if I'd have bought them at Hobby Lobby, I would have paid 94 81 for it, but I got all the other stuff. And this ninety-some dollars for a hundred and thirty dollars. So I got all my hardware, all of that, you know, and, and I got ten of each pieces. I got the zippers. I got so yeah. I gave anywhere from I think it was the purple, the white zipper. I think I got for like ninety-nine cents. That's the one I went in for. Um. And I think this one was 99 cents, but the other two I gave, this one was a dollar 99 and this one was two 99. So, you know, along those lines, if you look at it, um, the zippers I gave for three yards, let me get back to it. Uh, I gave, Two dollars and ninety cent for ten pulls of each color. So, yeah, the continuous, the three yards of zipper was only four dollars. So, I can make at least if it's three yards, even if they're twelve inches long. Okay, so this one was is a 12 inch or this is a 14 inch. Okay. But if I make 12 of them, each yard will make three. So I'm talking nine zippers and all I've got in them is, let's see here. 
we'll say 10 pulls because that makes it three bucks, six, seven bucks. So I'm getting at least nine zippers for seven bucks. That makes them less than 99 cents a piece. So I'm guessing that that's a pretty good price because trust me, I've tried to find zippers and they're horrible priced. So with everything that I got for that, I am in awe. I'm like, oh, I love this place. I can pick up everything I need. They do have smaller quantities. The only thing that I didn't find is needles, but I didn't look because I didn't know what kind the brother took. So now that I have a pack of them, I will look and see and probably just get some off of Amazon, you know. So anyway, when that order comes and it's supposed to come Tuesday, but when I just pulled that stuff up for you guys, it set out on delivery. So I don't know. it's like, hmm, we shall see. I'm just going to hit the track, but see, it says the 12th is the day I ordered it and it's supposed to be here Tuesday, the 16th. Goes through FedEx. Anyway, so it'll be here and then I'll get some of these things done, but I did have fun playing this weekend. Uh, roommate found out that roommate stepdad has cancer so um it wasn't a great weekend but i got to play <laughs> i know that sounds terrible but i had fun playing it was you know okay so yeah it's out on delivery i don't know what that was uh, it's in transit and right now it's in nebraska as of yesterday it was in nebraska so um it says it should be here tomorrow between 9.30 and 1.30 p.m. All right, guys. I'm pretty sure this is getting too long. I will talk to y'all later. And I know it's been silliness, but hey, I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later and thanks for watching. Bye.